Hey everyone, it's Trevor here. Welcome back to another video. Now, oftentimes when I'm asked what I do, I answer back with dropshipping. And whenever someone else hears the term dropshipping, they automatically assume almost always that I'm doing Shopify. Now that is the case now, but before I was mainly doing marketplace dropshipping. And in, in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you some reasons to choose marketplace over shopify and shopify over marketplace dropshipping and i'll give you the pros and cons of both at the end of this video i'm going to give you the uh path that you should take if you have a lower budget or a bigger budget uh, and uh the, ter the type of dropshipping that you should go for depending on your current situation so stick to the end of this video so you can find out which dropshipping model is for you but before that let's jump into um, marketplace dropshipping and the pros and cons of that now the main reason why I started with marketplace dropshipping because I had is because I had a lower budget. Now this is this doesn't mean that you can't have much success with Shopify with a low budget. Shopify just requires a lot more testing and let's say you have a small budget and you burn through ads for that and you um, the, the product doesn't sell, your product page doesn't convert, um, you're not getting clicks, your creative is bad. Um, then you're you just wasted that money and you can't really get that back um, especially if you have no retargeting on your website so the main pro of marketplace dropshipping in my opinion is that you don't have to run ads the, you're utilizing a marketplace that has already traffic going to it for example eBay Walmart Facebook marketplace Amazon they have millions and millions of shoppers going on their website every single day. And when people sh um, are on the website, they're familiar with it. And they oftentimes they shop on these marketplaces for products. Now, Amazon does make up nearly 50% of all e-commerce sales. Um, but however, Amazon, even though it has a lot of sales, it is quite competitive now in 2021. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't succeed with Amazon FBA or Amazon Wholesale. Um, it just means it's more competitive than it was just back two years or three years ago. Now, another pro of marketplace dropshipping is it's way more straightforward than Shopify. Shopify has so many moving parts, um, just from the creative to the product page, the, um, um, running the, the actual ads inside the ads manager, um, setting up the backend email marketing, SMS marketing, and setting up retargeting, setting up your pixel, everything. There's a lot of moving parts to Shopify. With marketplace dropshipping, it's fairly straightforward. Um, most of the time, it's self-intuitive, but um, there are courses out there, obviously, because not everyone can figure them out, to, uh, the things out by themselves. So that is why there are marketplace courses out there marketplace is way more straightforward you just basically most of the time depending on what marketplace you use for example facebook marketplace um ebay or walmart most of the time and now it depends on each marketplace you want to be listing listing more products so you can increase your revenue and profit now this isn't really the case with shopify shopify um you run ads to usually one product or a specific niche of products. Now, the main con of marketplace dropshipping, in my opinion, again, is that there's less room to scale. Obviously, there are seven, eight figure uh, dropshippers on Amazon, and there are a lot of people making a lot on Walmart, um, but depending, since the barrier of entry is way lower with marketplace dropshipping, in my opinion, there's less room to scale. Um, obviously, there are a lot of customers um, but you, you can only list so many products and there's always that risk with these marketplaces shutting you down. Another problem with marketplace dropshipping is you don't own the traffic, you don't own the customers. Now this isn't a really big issue to most people doing dropshipping, the traditional um, newbie dropshippers, but for the pro dropshippers, we want to be owning the, owning the traffic, owning the customers so we can retarget them, increase our order uh, average order value and overall build a long-term brand because you can't rely on, on a specific marketplace you can only do it for so far until your account gets banned um, something happens with your marketplace account let's say MC011 on eBay um, Amazon ban Walmart bans for, for uh, retail dropshipping um, there, there are definitely lots of ways to get banned um, on both platforms, but on marketplace dropshipping, it's way easier 
in my opinion, um, to get your whole uh, entire platform banned. All right, now let's move on to Shopify. Now the main pros of Shopify is that you own the traffic, you own the customers and you can retarget them. You can build a long-term sustain sustainable brand with returning customers, that is huge. Um, on marketplaces, you know, if you have a Facebook marketplace shop, you're gonna get maybe a few returning customers at best, I had that happen on my Facebook Marketplace. Maybe a person bought three or four times from me. Um, but on Shopify, it's way more um, common. When you build a long-term sustainable brand, you are that brand. And when people like the products, they return to that brand to order more products. And this overall increases your revenue because you own the, the entire domain. You're not just a little profile on a marketplace. And another big pro of Shopify is going to be the scalability. Now you probably have seen a lot of seven, eight figure drop shippers using Shopify. And that is just really the case. Um, you don't see seven, eight figures, um, at least not that many. Um, obviously there are Amazon ones, uh, um, but they've been in the Amazon game for a long time. But with Shopify, it's way easier to scale. You have the entire, depending on what ad platform you have, Everybody on Google, let's say you're running Google ads, you can reach basically anyone. On Facebook, you can reach over 200 plus billion people. Um, you're not gonna run out of people to sell to. And that's the main benefit of Shopify dropshipping and running ads is because you have this entire um, lump sum of, audience, of people to sell to. You're never gonna run out. And if someone tells you um, you're gonna run out of customers to sell to because you choose Shopify versus marketplaces, that is not true there's so many people in the world and even if you sell to even for you to make um a, like a million dollars it only takes like 0.0001 percent of the entire population to get um to get to seven figures as a shopify dropshipper and another big thing with shopify is you depending on what route you go, you can build a long-term sustainable brand. That brand that brand will have returning customers. You can build email lists. The most important part is that that brand, you can sell it off at the end of the day. Now with marketplaces, you can sell an eBay account, you can sell a Walmart account, you can sell Amazon account, but when you're selling a brand, let's say, the, for, for example, you're selling a cosmetic brand, um, versus somebody selling a Walmart account. Maybe the Walmart account gets $1,000, but the cosmetic brands can be worth the two times the yearly revenue numbers easily. So if they do a million, easily can sell for two million. And that's just, a, that's just the reality with uh, Shopify. You own a brand and when you sell a brand, it's gonna be worth way more than just a profile on a marketplace. Now the main cons with Shopify, the main cons with Shopify is gonna be the ads. There's lots of moving parts and ads are just one part of it. Um, when you're creating ads, let's say you're creating them yourself, you had to scatter the internet for clips um, when you're making creatives. Ads are very hard to learn. Um, and in the beginning, well, pretty much anything is hard to learn. So if that's a, a, a excuse for you to not do Shopify dropshipping, um, then you shouldn't really be an entrepreneur. But ads are one part of driving traffic. You don't own any traffic. You need to drive traffic to your website. Creating profitable ads are quite difficult for beginners, but as you get better, they should be second nature. Once you understand, the main aspect that you need to understand is um, direct response marketing. And that is what e-commerce is all about. If you can create um, great ads that um, influence people, obviously I'm not too skilled at this just yet. I'm reading lots of books and resources on direct response marketing. And that's the main important skill with Shopify. The product can be broad appeal. Uh, you just need, need to nail down the product and the creatives and um, have a solid landing page um, and product pages. And you're definitely gonna succeed with Shopify dropshipping. And the last con with Shopify dropshipping is gonna be, there's a lot of moving parts. Like I touched about, um, Previously, you need to find a product. From that product, you need to create a entire website based on a product, brand it, um, create custom content, or um, create content for the creators, um, create a solid converting landing page. 
you want to do all the backend retargeting with SMS marketing and email marketing and um, and retargeting versus uh, retargeting on Facebook as well and Google and cross traffic um, retargeting there's a lot of things going on with Shopify and for beginners it's a lot up to take in and um, I've been going into there's gonna be a video about my one week um, my one week experience on Shopify that video is coming out soon I learned a, a lot just in that one week that this is kind of addicting and I'm destined to succeed at Shopify so hopefully that rant wasn't too long um, now it's to the to the end of this video and we're gonna answer the question which dropshipping model is for you now I'm gonna leave it super simple if you're ha if you have a low budget marketplace dropshipping if you have a higher budget go to Shopify just this is all of course all my opinion and people that are selling via marketplaces and never ran an ad in their life that was kind of me but people that sell marketplaces do have it way easier than people using Shopify and and overall I do think Shopify has more potential to um, make it to seven eight figures a year and if you that doesn't mean that marketplaces aren't good you should definitely sell them both if you can that's what I'm doing right now I started a marketplace and I suggest anybody to st when they're starting dropshipping to start utilizing marketplaces once you utilize and understand the fundamentals of dropshipping and you built enough capital then move to Shopify Shopify in my opinion is the end route to get me to seven eight figures um, in e-commerce and then I just don't want to be do doing this my entire life then I want to branch out to other business models like real estate and YouTube full-time but right now my main point is e-commerce can make you a, a shit ton of money and if you do this right then you're gonna be well off so hope you guys enjoyed this video um, make sure to smash that like button um, hit that subscribe do all that stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one take care